Okay, so I'm already back. The second video is uploading right now. It's almost done. Um, turns out I had to accidentally go back a little bit, but I'm glad I did because I found this collectible which says, Kenneth, don't follow the whispers you hear on the radio. Those things you hear at night are orphan dreams, looking for someone to startle and haunt. See your family more often. They care about you. Your visions don't. M. Uh, for Maggie. Um, Jacob told me that he was paid by Maggie to bury these for $5 a piece around the island. Um, and apparently these are what we have to look for in terms of collectibles. But I also discovered something about the cutscene we just watched uh, in the last video. Uh, if you did not watch that video, you're going to be thrown into the mix, sorry to say. But if you turn on your radio, you can hear the other side of the conversation. And here's what I mean. I'm not going. No. You're not going where? I don't want to go to the floor with you. And why not? Because my friends are. And why are your friends waiting? Because I told them I would. <sighs> because you told them you would what? You can't make me. I'm almost... I'm going to be 17. You're 16? I'm 17. I am. And 16-year-olds have to do what they're told. Unless they want to take a bath and go to bed. I'm not going. No. You're not going where? I don't want to go to the floor with you. And why not? It's a pretty clean loop. Oh my god, thank god, you're, uh, you're alive. Ugh, okay. Not, not dead. You know what, this is a good recap. He got me a magazine. What else did he get you? Scoop, too. I told you you couldn't roller skate until you got your grades up. Dad didn't care. He didn't care about my wishes or he didn't care about your grades. About that. About not having them or whatever. What did he care about, hmm? Why did he even get them for you? Because he wanted me to have them. Did he talk about me? What did he say? He didn't see him. And what else did you do with your father yesterday? Nothing. Nothing? We went to the store and he got me some... He got me a magazine. What else did he get you? Hmm. Sweet, too. I told you you couldn't roll his... Interesting. Skin. This is a very interesting development yeah, for... Care. the characters and how they kind of give us context on them. Okay, Violet, just just stay with me, okay? <laughs> Oof. Maybe I should have just climbed the cave with you? Doing okay? The peak is just over here. One more thing about school, and then I'll drop it, because I don't want to ruin the morning. You can't be getting into fights anymore. I know that girl Julie spread some rumor, but uh, they're gonna kick you out of school if you keep it up. No more friends, no more science class. I am not going to say I'm sorry, darling. Because I'm not sorry. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, do me a favor and show me that penny you got in your pocket. The uh, coin you got for change for the soda. When I install electricity in someone's home, I bury a really long, uh, let's call it a stick, under the ground. This stick is made of copper, like that penny. We call it grounding. Very important part of the job. Why'd you do that? Well, electricity is, uh, is a lot like you, actually. It's always mad. And being mad is what lets electricity do its job. But sometimes it can be too much, and that's when people get hurt. Just focus on the penny, and just let it go. Just let go of being mad. Because sometimes electricity just needs to go somewhere. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a lot of things do. 
I'm... Is this making sense? I don't know where your first is. All the time. I'm sure you saw it last. I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. Just help Ooh. me. I'm already late for school, Mom. I'll write you a note. I have a test in history, and I can't make it up. I don't care, Violet. I need my purse to go to the interview. I shouldn't have to do this. Unless you want to get a job. Just because you went out drinking last night and lost your purse. Do what? Does it mean you can destroy this Wednesday for me? I didn't lose it. It's here somewhere. I'm leaving. Do not walk out that door. Help me find it. I don't know where your purse is. Will you take my gum? This is... I haven't Ugh. chewed gum since I was 12. This is kind of dark. I'm already late for school, Mom. I haven't chewed gum since I can't make it up. Jonah? I shouldn't have to do this. Just because you went out drinking last night and lost your The purse. machine. Just because you can destroy this Wednesday for me. I don't know where your first is. I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. Let's see if we can fix that. This is still very back second to me, I'm not gonna lie. This shit has me saying stuff like back second. Jacob, did you see the geometry? Did you like the geometry? Is it over? The geometry? Over. Yeah. Did you go anywhere? Or I think I was upside down? Or maybe everything else was upside down and I wasn't? I don't know. Like remembering a dream. A nauseating dream. Let's see if we can help the kid. Uh, sure. Do you think the fall's like... Oh. Listen. Stay right there. Okay, I'm... I'm... We're gonna stay right here. I have no reason to believe that you're real. It's only real if Olivia says it is. They've been talking to each other forever. You didn't know who's been talking to who? Uh, Olivia and them. They won't let me stop. I just want to go home. Come on, Violet. Can you just... Can you just back away from the bridge a bit for me? Which way is my house? Do you know where I live? My mom's waiting for me. I don't think she's okay, Riley. <sighs> just keep heading that way, away from us. You should end up near the cliffs. Might be some climbing. You okay with that? I'm going to get my friends and go home now. Uh, thank you. Would have been nice. Don't let them take you. Keep out of trouble. Oh, that was a little pointed. I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> I just hope you know what you're doing. Because I don't know if just letting her run off into the night was the right call. She could have fallen, Jacob. She could have... It, it, it could have been bad. Safe is better, at least for my psyche. Okay, well, let's find a high spot for the transmitter. Come on. Huh. Were we supposed to ask her to stay? That's interesting. I don't think we had the choice to do that. Like, it's just seeing how interesting, seeing how um, they've added on to what they had in the first game. I'm honestly really impressed. God, that is so beautiful, isn't it? Do y'all see the geometry? I see the geometry. 
Oh, in the watchtower on Edwards Island. Do you guys remember in the edible? Yeah. How are you, Nick? No? Okay. Hey, Evelyn, can you hear me? I'm pretty far off the grid, so just checking. Over. She's probably fine. <sighs> okay, I guess you're crapping. I can complain, but who'd listen? I can put in a word. No, no, I'm away from all that. It's difficult to separate the sickness from the death, and it's harder to distinguish between the followers and the followed. I went to a funeral once, all black pyramids and golden eagles. I do love the black no, pyramids. No, I don't. I don't care for their attention. My sins are my own, and I atone for them in my own way. Then do a funeral? Yes. Doesn't matter. Do you remember yours? A novel economy. I didn't stay for it. Too much of a bore. I remember my drifting, though. Gently. I could complain. What was that? Do you think this is like a harsing a voice from the sunken? Listen, I'm not into sports. We're not doing the thighs, honey. It's okay. Ooh, do y'all hear the thermon? I feel like I hear a thermon. Now I know when y'all hear the theremin in the club, you better bust it down, stupid style. All right, let's see if it does something. They say blondes who live alone can't calibrate the signal. Ah, there it goes. Huh, all right. These uh, seem to be working. Take that, you mask-wearing, moon-worshipping weirdos. And the horse you came in on. Yeah. Let's get back on the trail. Oh, congratulations, everybody. We're ruining everything, hopefully. How are you feeling? Are you strapped in? Shout out to everybody who's having a 10-hour layover in Chicago right now. My friend is going to be currently stuck in Chicago when this video goes live. About it. I don't want to talk about it, and you can't make me. Uh, talk about what? Brandon is a jerk, and I'm not sorry I told him so. I said I was sorry for pushing him, but I'm not sorry about the rest. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay? I don't want to. Okay. No talking then for the rest of the night. Oh, I guess that means we won't be able to get burgers later though. Oh, I guess I'll just make a salad instead. I don't want a salad. I told Brandon I was sorry. I told Mr. Severson I was sorry. And I am sorry. I mean, he wouldn't stop making fun of my hair. But still... Oh good. I just get mad and it's like it's like a sneeze. My hand still really hurts. Well, I'm glad you said sorry. At least. It was only because the principal made me. I hate getting angry. I hate the feeling. 
I hate not being able to turn it off. Oh, it's a penny. A penny? What for? Next time you're mad, just take out that penny and focus on that instead. It'll absorb it. Like, like anything. And you'll just be able to let it go. Your anger, I mean. Not the penny. Whatever. We both know that's not gonna work. No, I don't want to... to... Oh, sorry. Where were you? I, I was just back in fifth grade, yelling at a teacher. Oh, God. These things are really giving me a headache. Weird. This is, this is too weird. Mm, seconded. Hey, uh, a minute ago there, did you see a kid, like 12, maybe, maybe younger? Uh, no, Pre pretty sure no. But I mean, it's still pretty hazy. Uh, maybe I did and I don't remember. Sorry. So if he went into the past, to, to we go into the future with our kid? Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks so weird. Like, the frequencies look like they're decaying, but also, huh. It appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. Now, d don't worry about it. I, things are going a little time loopy right now, but I'm on the case. We're not leaving until we fix it. Over. Don't take it all on yourselves, guys, okay? Well, kind of have to, but sure. <sighs> I'm sorry. My mind's... I'm waiting on a call from my sister. We were supposed to get dinner because she lives in Kamina, and I haven't actually heard from her in a while. <sighs> sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound distracted, over. Ah, oh, that sucks. But just focus on your sister, Evelyn. Don't worry about this stuff for a minute. Over. Thanks. I wish I could. I'm just hoping everything's okay and her phone is just dead. All right. Sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Over and out. Do you think... Evelyn's not one of the cultists, is she? This isn't an inside job, is it? Also, I don't know if that's just the graphics or if it's intentionally going wobbly wobbly. It must be intentional because it stopped. But girl. All right. Oh, there's more holes opening up in the loading screen. You can't see it. You might want to turn your brightness up. Yeah, do you see that? In the top left. I think it is messing up the timeline. I think we are kind of... I'm wondering if we're making it worse. Can I... Hello? Okay. Yeah, th this is gonna sound... But I, I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall between third and fourth period. That's when I'd see you during the day. Everyone else always looked in a hurry, but you definitely weren't. <laughs> we ran in different circles, I think. And it's just weird, I guess, doing this together. God, I hate it, school. Nothing personal against the process, but it's hard for me to sit still for very long. Oh, man, me? I love sitting still. It's like my favorite thing in the world. If I don't have to move my body at all, that's a great day right there. Can I ask? There were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo, and I was always like, who wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken? It's senior year, because I'm at heart a dictionary salesman. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? My uh, mom left when I was a baby. She just couldn't handle it, my dad says. And sometimes I'd see people who looked like her from pictures my dad had, you know? And on the day they took yearbook photos, I saw her sitting in a car outside the school. It probably wasn't her. I mean, of course it wasn't her, but I just didn't go in. Bummed around with some older friends, saw a movie instead. Oof, sorry. That's that's hard. I'll see her in reflections and passing windows and stuff still. I 
try to get over it, you know, but some things make it hard sometimes. I'm really always in love with how this game explores deep personal uh, things like this. Yeah, things are definitely getting weird. Is that's just not hey, my TV? Anyone around? I'm still at the ranger station, trying to find anything we can use. Violet? Violet's okay. I got her with me. Stay off the receiver unless it's an emergency. Over and out. Hmm. Sounds like they're starting to move around. Better keep that in mind. Yeah, okay. Good to know. Uh, hello? Hi. This is a pre-recorded message. You reached the Kamina High School radio advice line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Hmm. I love this music. This would be a really good um, Halloween game, I think. Hey, Riley. Lights on over there? Over. Hey there, Nick. How are the waves? Over. Well, that's settled on different. I'm an amateur sailor, you know, but I read books. Hold on. Okay. We don't have a fancy radio yet. So maybe we'll go. Hmm. It is difficult to see where to go. Maybe we'll go back towards Jacob's place? I don't know. Where's the ranger station? Uh, can we find those darn kids? Oh! There's a person up there now. That's strange. Okay. Sail, the first thing you'll read is the ocean is never still. Never trust calm water. But tonight, that's all there is. It's still as a cup of water. Never seen such a thing. Still, like, frozen? It's not that cold, right? Over. Right, no, not frozen. I wouldn't be in motion if it was. And yet, right. merrily, I roll along. sense would have me steer back home, but uh, I should see what's out there. I'm gonna need a tether, though, so if you don't mind, just reach out on the semi-regular. Make sure I haven't completely gone ass over tea kettle. All right, Riley, you keep an eye on the dirt, I'll keep one on the drink. Over and out. Hmm. So we're gonna have a few people to keep up with. That's why I keep checking, because I'm really a sucker for the secret dialogue and stuff like that. Something must have gone wrong with their... whatever they were doing. Mel, since you didn't want to hear it, you'll just have to read it. Our work will not yield the results you're looking for. It just won't. Tom, I am so very sorry to say, is beyond our reach. Beyond anyone's reach. Though hypocritical of me to say, I encourage you to look forward. If that's as impossible for you as it is for me, then perhaps try to change how exactly you look back. Tank, take Hank to visit Tom. I know he's an infant for now. It's not for him. I know he's an infant for now. It's not for him. And when Hank is old enough to understand, tell him about his older brother, about Tom. That small patch of earth, those letters carved in stone, they can be so much more than a place for pain. The world has enough of those. Make it something else, something better. Thank you for your help. My work would never have grown as it has without you. Now go find Hank and take a walk. And if you see me there wandering, do a wave. Maggie. Hmm. I wonder if uh, Tom was an adult because I don't know if they ever specified whether or not the passengers on the Canaloa were like adults. 
we'll see. Um, I don't know what else is up here, so we might as well just explore. If nothing else, we unlock more dialogue, which is cool. And I don't mind sitting here and chilling if you don't. Pemmican Trailhead. I really wish I could stream Switch games, because I'd stream Persona. I'd stream Pikmin 4. <gasps> We're a week away, by the way. Pikmin 4. Coming out this Friday. Karina. So, embarrassing confession. Uh -huh. Before my truck broke down, I was headed to the library to return a book. I was a month late in returning. I'm talking 30 proper days. We can't get to Garland that way, can we? I'm like, um... And I never even finished it. Athena and I walk there all the time. So I figured two birds, you know? Not a good book? Eh, it was mindless brain candy. Fun, but no real, uh, vitamins and minerals, you know? Yeah, but really, I could have waited another 30 because Kamina P.L. got rid of late fees last September. I mean, is it weird that I don't mind paying late fees? I get that getting rid of them promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, there has to be consequences. Life is nothing but late fees. You really want to charge a kid 50 cents because he's one day late and returning dude the cat goes to school? Do you remember how hard it was to get money as a kid? You may as well charge them cold fusion. I do, and that's exactly why. Learn the lesson, young reader. Maybe a more considerate child also wants to know how that day at school went for dude, but now they'll never know. Anyway, now you know. Judge me. Mm, go ahead. You know what? At this point, you might as well keep it. Make the library really learn the lesson. Whoa, getting systemic. Maybe you're onto something. Bored by but board, my Jacob. guild will eventually eat my feet. I'll return it. It's gonna what? I have never heard that before a day in my life. My mother was an undertaker. It's one way to start a letter, Maggie. I thought she meant undertaker like the wrestler. She was just kind of <laughs> slapping elbows out here. Anyway, Mel, my mother was an undertaker. I grew up in a graveyard, iconic. They say a cemetery is no place for a child, but for me it's a place of happy memories. Somewhere I go on gray days, sometimes wandering besides the headstones. I swear I can still smell my mother's perfume. Funny that we should run into each other there. You don't meet many fellow amateur radio enthusiasts in the wild, let alone one conducting experiments. I must say, the amplifier you are working with has thoroughly piqued my curiosity, and homemade no less. Bravo. I've always theorized that increased amplification of... Well... Any signal, really, could uncover all sorts of wonders and terrors, and all those beautiful and awful things we dream about at night, for better or worse. I'm hoping perhaps we could work together to see if these theories are true. Also, I would love to hear who Tom was, if you're so inclined. Hmm. So, she's amplifiers. I don't know if they're talking about the cult thing. Or if, like, we are using amplifiers and we don't know it, because, listen, trust the Duchess. I smell a twist. Um, <laughs> Jinx is also curled up laying right here sleeping, so we are both on the case. You are safe with us, maybe. Real talk, I feel like this situation would either bond you for life or turn one person into like the emotional equivalent of a human meat shield. You know what I mean? Um, I, oh, permanent control head. When I tell y'all that I am the game girl and I am going to fucking win, bitch. That's an image that haunts me, by the way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's, <laughs> Something on Tumblr that's like, la la la, I love gaming. And it's just a photo of a really poorly shot video game saying, you are going to fucking win, bitch. And I say it to myself all the time. I'm like, I'm currently You know, I, I used to think about Maggie Adler and her she used to tell me about all this at least mm -hmm. an hour of every day. With time, it faded, you know, like everything. But I never stopped playing around with radios. 
Just trying to prove her right. Trying to vindicate her a little. Everything that's been going on these last few months has really stirred up a lot. I'm really curious because this game is really good at placing down a lot of threads. So absolutely crazy if this has to do with her. Um, it'd be crazy if it didn't. How'd you uh, meet her, anyway? She was an old woman who lived on an island. Oh, I used to practically live at the library, and she'd come and check out books on electromagnetism. She'd ask what I was reading. No one else would. She was, uh, she was a character, and I was so young. I don't know. I was a kid and bored, and my house sucked, so, you know, why not hang out with some weird old lady who believed in magic? Eventually, I'd stopped going to the library. I'd read all the Encyclopedia Browns, anyway. And she just carried this weight on her. You could see it in her trembles. It just got to be too much eventually. Sadness was like radiation. You, you can only be around it so much. Hmm. Before... Yeah. You ever get back in touch? No, no, I, I didn't. She, uh, she, she died a few years back. I actually went to the funeral. Her only request was to be buried somewhere you couldn't see water. They did it on a hill, <sighs> southern side of town. I think I was the only one to attend. Never wanted that to happen to me, you know? Make no lasting connections. It didn't make me feel good to see her like that. Mm, that was nice of you. I mean, was it? Actually, sure. Thanks. Come on. Onward. That's really oh, interesting. Wait, that on. was Mackie Look. in the beginning. Hey, doesn't the doesn't the light seem weird? Riley. No, it seems fine. Ah. Jacob? Where are you? Hey, Olive Branch. Are your shoes tied? They're tied. Tied? It's tied. Hey. It's because I need you to pay attention. It's tied! Show me. Hang on, look. See? Okay. Olivia? Oh, wait, I... Why do I sound weird? The worst thing you can do to someone <laughs> is waste their time. It's me listening back to my video. Someone's basically wasting all their time at once. It was what? a spider. I didn't know it was in the drain. And now, that spider that lived in our drain is no longer with us, is it? Animals mm. wax and wane too, you know. Planet Shine isn't just for members of parentage. Hey, uh, hello? Can you hear me? So, you can have a sip of coffee later, but not Olivia, the whole mug hey. like last time. <laughs> oh, I just want on. her to learn. And she will learn. Now, what do you want to do today? I want to do everything! You! How did you get in here? You have no right to be here with them! Who was that? I just... I don't know what's going on. Why I can't keep it together. This is the right night. It has to be. They wouldn't have... Wouldn't have told me if it wasn't. I will get to Planet Shine. I will get to Planet Shine. Oh no. Riley? Riley, are you okay? You kind of zoned out. How are you holding up? I lost you for a second. I saw Olivia with two older people. I don't know. I think she was trying to do something in the, uh, the time stream. I am not sure. Trying to do what? What did you see? Another time jump thing? Uh, we were in a garden, someplace very bright. Seemed like a nice day, honestly. And then it ended. I don't know, she seemed sad, desperate a little. Mm. Come on, we still have two more transmitters to place. Let's figure out where to go next. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep things from him because I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, this looks familiar. Is this from the... I'm always looking for stuff from the trailers, like the the part where the triangle appears and the trees get cut in half. I'm excited for that. We'll see. Oh, 
I really love this um, game's music too. Like overall sound design is just incredible. We'll just take the short path down to the beach and then it's uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. I think we're close to the ranger station too. We're close to the falls? How close? Uh, close. Another few city blocks. And with the slopes, it might feel like more than a few, but, uh... Yeah, we're almost there. I cannot get over how the sky keeps wibble wobbling. And I feel like that has to be intentional, because it's only the sky. It's never, like, the woods or anything you, uh, like that. You're pretty good at this stuff, right? Ghosts? What stuff? Oh, you know, like, general athletics, hiking, basic training stuff. Was this, like, part of what you, uh, what, what you did in the military? This sort of thing? Was this, like, part of your training? Uh, no. My dad and I just went hiking a lot, so I know some of these trails. He'd teach me basic survival tricks. How to make fire from ice, crap like that. He was just kind of one of those guys. That's cool. Yeah, my dad was more of a... If you want to learn how to shave so badly, ask your mother, sort of person. Which, what? you know, at the time I didn't really mind. I guess I still don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Of, of course, I'm making it sound like I was forced into bonding with my father. Well, you're... No, 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 you're fine. You didn't make it sound like anything. My dad was great. He was fine. We were fine. We just didn't do stuff like hike much. That's all. Like looking for glimmers on the ground. This is very interesting with the climbing anchors as well. And again, sorry for my sentences. Uh, I am in an area impacted by the wildfires, so the air quality has been very bad. Hey, you doing okay? You kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> yeah, Shangri-La. Hey, what? that's Olivia's friend, Charlie. Hey. Buddy, wait up! Jacob, wait, let's stick together. He has something. Are you s Wait! Ugh. Open hmm. the gate. Hey, you, lady! You and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Ugh, or bad me? things are gonna happen. Seriously. Oh, will you just shut up, dude? Hey, wait, come on. We helped out your buddy Violet, okay? She was in trouble, and now she's not because of us. And now we need you to open the gate. Maybe we get you out of trouble too? Sound fair? Violet didn't need you, and neither do I. None of us need you. This hmm. is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are Don't doing... Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? And yeah, go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. God, somebody's parents must have read the wrong books because that kid's a prick. Yes, he's... Ugh. God, that was annoying. We just got in here two minutes earlier. Um... <sighs> okay... Okay, it's I'm fine. Yeah, we'll be all right, big cat. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. So, uh, gingerbread, what's... Oh, yeah, uh, that. It's, um... <sighs> this is incredibly dumb, but two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a, you know, one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over. And I fell out practically naked, and they call me gingerbread now as a goof. And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. Okay, but why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light, and in the sun it looked red, and so that's... That's it. It's just something some of them thought they saw. Like I said, it's dumb. Oh, uh, sorry. That's not too nice. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, they can laugh all they want. I don't have homework. 
That is so true. A reminder of the times I don't have to go to school, and it's blissful. Just blissful. <sighs> okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station. So, you're welcome. Looks empty, but maybe there's a phone. Maybe. I just hope the ranger's there. That's funny. I almost said that. <laughs> Birth seconds afterwards, creating worlds. The pink and the red, expansion, expansion, expansion. And I remember my mother telling me that I would live forever. She said I was blessed. <laughs> it was a cruel warning. And so, yesterday morning I had estates in Africa. Yesterday night I sought counsel from the Senate. Today's morning brought famine, disease, but I saw none of it. I don't know what tonight will bring, but the prospect isn't what it used to be. If I know that in a week I'll be walking Pangea again, it hardly matters what happens in the intervening days. The moments change and fold themselves into decent clothes and get tucked away in a drawer somewhere or a cabinet. But my life doesn't have that. Things build on one another, things depend on one another, but my life is just shapeless. I mean, when you read about people in books, they have a purpose that you can draw on, that you can pick up and touch with your hands. My life is much less defined, and it's so commonplace. I mean, I was destined for great things, but it's so commonplace you would, you, you would, well, it's barely worth noting. I told my slaves to build barns, and they built castles. That's a definable life. What? Actions will inevitably bring contour. The ratio's all off. It's swallowed up by the geography of my days. The valleys far outweigh the hills. And the mountains get spread farther and farther apart until they're indiscernible from the hills and the hills from the trough. I don't sleep, but I dream. I don't... I don't breathe or eat, but I did have plans once. Scenarios, schemes for society. You should be less concerned with the math of it, I think. I can remember my birth and the seconds. Was that rest. Evelyn? That means Katie's going to break up with you. I think it means Katie doesn't even know she's dating you. Nothing to Okay. So that is definitely the sunken. That is like Is that what she means when she says we were talking? And is whoever that because like the the voice in the 103.5, the replying was a green voice. We well, you know one of the cultists has like a green voice. But also it did kind of sound like Evelyn. And it sounds like he's describing what it's like to be detached from reality and time, to be, to see Pangea a week from today. How do you, how do you perceive, plot, or plan your life when it's just always, oh god, I can't even imagine. Literally a fate worse than death. Living forever. Oh my god. That's how I knew it was... It must be one of them, because he said, my mom told me I'd live forever, and that was a cruel warning. Jesus, what happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. Anybody around? Hello? Ranger! Are you, uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap. Uh, maybe if we'd come here instead of Charity Point, you know? Now, we don't know when they left. This, we could have been too late no matter what. There's broken glass over here. That guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Spectacular. Well, we're here. There has to be something useful we can borrow. All right, positive attitude. Positive attitude. Let's will did I mess up? Existence. Or is this... No, I don't think I could have done it differently, right? I'm calling 911. Just give me a sec. Okay. 
Um, hello? I don't think anyone's there. Uh, okay, well, we can try redialing the last received number. Maybe it's just 911 that's not, you know, working. But that might be a dead end, too. I don't know. Sure, let's redial. I'll, uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This is Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. Anyone there? We're not set up for assisted speech, if you're... Hi. Um, I, I think you c called here, maybe? Oh, hey, uh, hi, yeah, I called earlier. This is the Turnstone Forest Station. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, I tell her what's going on. Fires have started. Have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, uh, Shelly, I, I know what you're talking about, but it's it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Uh, Riley and Jacob were both... Er, were both residents, Jacob still is. So, Riley, it's not a storm. Something else is going on. Okay. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. Times two. So you'll help us out? I'll do what I can, but it's not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble, gear-wise. Hell, we have to provide our own pens. Really? I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. Shall we? Nick, it's Riley. You didn't sink, right? Hey there. Still floating. I appreciate the checkup. Water took a turn, though. Not a friendly one. Oh. We're not quite in Charlie Foxtrot territory, but, you know, if the weather gets worse, I can still handle it, but... Ah, my dad was Air Force. Electrical engineering, though. Not a pilot. Yep, you sniffed it. Served years back. And similar company. I didn't get to fly either. I couldn't speak for the current state of the service, but when I was your age, everyone was itching for the fastest, shiniest bird in the coop. Everyone wanted to fly. Everyone. I wanted to explore. I wanted the shuttle. Let the flyboys have their pissing contest. I had my eyes elsewhere. Ever see the inside of a shuttle? Over. Sure. On TV, like everyone else. I was too tall, you see. They cap astronauts at six foot four. Oh, you single? A single inch. Oh. Genetics. What are you gonna do? I have this like I jar of pickles that off. needs opening. Though the thought had occurred. That's really sad. I mean, come on. Surely they could extend the ceiling, right? And they didn't have room to fart in that shoebox. I can't blame them. Never quite shook the bug to, you know, stand somewhere no one else ever had. That's why I bought the boat. So far, all I've found is seaweed and styrofoam. A win's a win. Anyway, thanks for the check-in. I'm heading further out, see if I can get a better view of it all. Reach out when you can. Make sure I haven't drowned. Over and out. You're six foot hey, Riley, five. You there? Oh, Over. yeah. Sorry, I was talking to one of my other friends. I have lots of friends. Yeah, Shelly, I'm I'm here. Perfect. You sound clear. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Uh, yeah. Actually, do you, do you happen to know where the key for the gate is? Over. Trying to get to the beach? It's on the bulletin board, tacked up. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. You do the same. Over and out. Hmm. Oh, she seems nice. Yeah. If Ranger Shelly actually helps us, sure, very nice. Well, she told us about the bulletin board. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. 
I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. Um, you never know. I'm always down to, to learn. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh lord. God, yes. I have heard of the effing parentage. Sorry, on duty. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. Okay, gross. Right? I can't stand getting dirt under my fingernails, let alone... Uh, on duty, Shell. Come on. Uh, anyway, there was this one member, though. She died a few years back. Uh, don't know. Wasn't so hippy-dippy. More a scary Harry. More scary than... How so? She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog-standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days, the usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance-offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. Super horrific? I'm talking the gritty reboot of the Inquisition. Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing. And a lot more into fire. And bodies. Oh. But, pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area, and they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. Hey, when you said your dad took you hiking, sorry, it just reminded me. How's uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh, uh, I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line, and the clerk asked about you or something, and, uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something? Is there a story there, or...? The only story is my mom wanted Anna after some Roman empress that fought with her legion on the front lines. But she left, so my dad could call me whatever he wanted. Oh. He also, your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you... I guess you just enlisted, and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. Yeah, cool. Well, Riley. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Hey, uh, Evelyn, have you been experiencing something like... It's like I'm redoing the previous couple of minutes a few times. Like, deja vu, but worse. Over. Hey, Riley. Um... Uh... Not, not really. We've been experiencing a lot of technical hiccups, but not a lot of whatever you're describing. Hmm. I assume you are, though. Or else you probably wouldn't be asking. Yeah, sometimes. But if you don't have any other information or anything, it's, uh, you know, I'll just deal with it. Over. Okay, Riley. Ring me if you need anything. Sorry I couldn't help you with this. Over and out. Sorry I couldn't help you with your time warp situation. She is just so lovely. Let's see if I can talk to anyone else before we have to wrap it up. Hey, Shelly, I want to know more about parentage. Oh, hey, Riley. I, I just finished the skunk spill. Okay, parentage. I mean, this is secondhand off someone who smelled like they were carved from gin, but still. So I guess parentage goes back like centuries, and a good few of them. There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. At least, that they were able to count. Hard to get a proper number out of ash. Over. Sounds like a nightmare. For a reason. And a weird one. Apparently, during that fire, this, like, thing showed up in the sky. Like this, I don't know, shape. The woman was mighty slurry at this point. Something opened in the sky and showed paradise on the other side, while the earth below it was an actual burning hell. A triangle, or... I don't know, she was just shy of intelligible. Over. Heck of a tall tale. I was captivated. I mean, once I got past the belching every other sentence. A vision of paradise. Which is that, there and gone. An open and shut door. 
Mm. Those who survived called that vision Planet Shine and decided to form a group to recreate it. And thus, Parentage was born with ash on their tongues. Over. How'd they get that name? Search me on that one. My mom is like weirdly obsessed with Frankenstein, so people are freaks, you know? The old lady told me that for like years and years after, they tried to recreate that night as best they could. So, no lightning, but plenty of fire okay. and plenty of bodies for years. Some people didn't, you know, catch them in the act or something. I'm sure they did, and I'm sure they were set on fire. The long and short of it, it never happened again. The shape in the sky, I mean, surprise, surprise. Right. People dropped out, membership went kaput, the thing uh, ran its course. A couple of diehards, but no more, you know, bodies. No more sacrifices. Well, I, I mean, you say that, but what about the old lady? Clearly, not everyone changed their minds. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Hmm. I don't know. There are people who think indoor plumbing is a mortal sin, so... You're always gonna find one hanger-on, I guess. Seems colder out tonight. As far as I'm concerned, they're as dangerous now as they were then. Call me crazy, if you want. No, I... I won't. The old lady was drunk, mm. but... There's a difference between drunken delusion and belief. Her conviction was plenty sober. Anyway, don't believe everything you read. I'm getting a call, so see you when I hear you. Over and out. Wow. Um... I... I do wonder... This is the first time I'm hearing about, like... Bodies being burned or fire or anything like that. This is... This is like deep lore to the first game, and I'm so... This is this is a hyper fixation of mine. It's scratched an itch in my brain. Um, I don't think I'll be recording any more tonight, but I should probably be recording some tomorrow night because I really want to play this game, and I really want to have this be my first let's play. <laughs> as lame as that sounds, in the year of our Lord 2023, but I think it's fun to look back on um, my first reactions to things and piecing it together and seeing what I get right, like about Evelyn or, you know. But I hope you enjoyed, and um, I hope that wherever you are, you're safe, and I will definitely see you soon. I promise not to disappear. I'm working really hard. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Okay. Bye.